Hi YouTubers, it's me Paula again. I'm here this morning with my little girl, Alicia. Are you going to wave? Um, we're going to be doing something a bit different this morning. We are. What are we going to be doing? Um, we're going to feed the bees. We're going to feed the bees. Now what we're doing today is we are looking at a company called Bee Bombs. Now Bee Bombs, mm, bee bombs. do you want to show the bag? Do you want to show the bag? Inside. It's inside here. There are a lot of little pellets. And what this the aim of bee bombs, I'll put this here for you, mm. is to do is what they're saying is that a lot of the bees aren't being able to find food. It's affecting the bees' population. Yeah. There's not as many bees, is there? Yeah. And what does it what do the bees eat? Bee bombs. Bee bombs. But what do they eat though? For like Flowers. The bees eat flowers. So what this does is you get these little pellets in here called bee bombs. And what they do is they spread wildflowers. Now what it is, it says that bee bombs will return 21 square feet of the 97% of wildflower habitat that's been lost uh, in Britain since World War II. So we've lost a lot of the wildflower habitats from the seasons. My, well, going... my show inside. Yeah, we'll see if we can open it to see what they look like. And do you want to take one out to show? Yeah. You want to try and get one in the bag? See in the bag? So this costs £7.49, this bag, and it's from this company called Bee Bombs, but there are probably other companies that do this. Um, and this flower is this one. Are oh, you going to show? Yeah. There we go. We will pause for a minute. Sorry, the postman just came to the door. Right, so what we're going to do is, so these are the flowers. There's a lot of different flowers in each of these pellets, a lot of seeds. So they've got yarrow, common knapweed, wild carrot, lady bed straw, rough hawkbit, oxide, daisy, ribwort, plantain, cowslip, self heel, corn marigold, yellow rattle, common sorrel, salad burnet, red campion, common poppy, cornflower and corn chamomile. And these are 18 species of wildflower yeah. which are native to Britain and confirmed Pollinate. as perfect for pollinators. So we're going, what you do, it does, and it, what they do is you spread the pellets around your garden. You don't need to dig them in the hole. You don't need to plant them. You just spread them. You throw them. Now what they're saying is, actually, when I was doing some research on this, that places that people have been throwing them, like in like discarded um areas of land wasteland um old industrial estates yeah. they, they, they don't have flowers we'll need to we could put them there actually isn't the best place to put them because those maybe don't have land that doesn't actually grow flowers well <laughs> anyway so it says maybe you know places like your garden that type of places would be would be good and actually fields they say fields so what so, we're going to do and also i'm wearing a bee pin today and i'll let you see you love this as well. And this is from a company called Sixth in London. I'll put like a, a link down below. This was, I think, 19.99, and you can get different ones. And um, what, what it, it, they have like lots of pins, butterflies, bumblebees. And my other little boy is coming to join us. You're gonna come here because you're gonna go and do the bee bombs as well. This is my little boy, Bee. Well, Brandon, are you gonna, are you gonna say hi? To, are you gonna say hi to YouTube? Hi, Choo -choo. And then we're gonna go, so we're gonna go out in a minute and spread these. But yes, I'll put a link to these. They do pins, they yeah. do other things like butterflies, they do socks, that kind of thing. Beads, spiders. Spider well they might do spiders. I don't know if they do spiders. Okay, let's let's pause the video and then we will go outside and throw our bee bombs. Okay, so we're in the garden, we've thrown a couple of the bee bombs already. Are you gonna throw one? Where are you gonna maybe out there because uh my are you going to Alicia to throw, Alicia? Alicia, do you want the last one? Do you want the last one to throw? And where are you going to throw it, Alicia? Maybe over by the house? Maybe you should throw it over there, Alicia. Over there? Whoa! So, that's bee bombs. So, we've just been throwing them around the, I think around the garden. Where are, where are you going to show people where you've been throwing them? Um, I forgot. Just right about here somewhere. Just in the corners, something way. Okay, so. I think I put one over here. So if you want to get some bee bombs for yourself, if you go on beebomb.com, um, that's a UK site, actually it's based, I think, down in Dorset, I think it is. Um, but if you're actually interested and you're from abroad, I'm sure they could ship it, or you know, there might be some companies near you that do the same. They say autumn's the perfect time of year in spring to throw these bee bombs. And 
it will, you know, like they'll, they'll grow over the next few months. So I'll maybe come back in a few months or maybe next year to have an update on how these are doing. Okay, bye for now. Say bye, guys. Bye.